We're in the 608 this morning with a look at the Wisconsin Kennel Club Dog Show. It's underway right now. Karen Fox joins us live from the Align Energy Center to break down a little bit about what folks can Here, see out the, there this the morning. Karen, good morning to you. Who's your furry friend? My furry friend is Primo. Primo. Primo Doberman Pinscher. So yes. talk about Primo, what uh, breed and all of that for us. Primo is a five-year-old Doberman Pinscher, and I am his agent or handler. He's owned by a woman in um, the Atlanta area of Georgia, and um, he's one of the top Dobermans in the country right now. Yeah, we love to see that. So, you know, talk a little bit about you being in Madison and how special it is to be here in Wisconsin. Well, um, I grew up in Chicago, and I have come to this show for many years, and it's kind of been resurrected. It had gone, I think, um, it seemed like it, it, uh, they didn't have it for a while, and then um, it started back up again, and I enjoy coming here. In fact, we drove through that snowstorm to get here. <laughs> well, we're happy you made it here safe and sound, and we're happy that the event is still gonna be hosted this yes. weekend. So you're gonna show us a little bit about how this works. So you have a little demonstration for Primo. Yes, I'm going to show you what I would do to present him to a judge so that the judge can get their first impression of what a Doberman Pinscher. Well, I think that he's a very good Doberman Pinscher, and I want to show the judge how, how beautiful he is and how close to the standard he is. So uh, this is what I would do is stack him. This is called stacking. And, um, and the judge would look at him, and the judge is supposed to know the Doberman standard in their mind, what a perfect Doberman looks like. And this is how I would present the dog to the judge so that they could, in their mind, compare that to um, what a perfect Doberman is. Ready? So this is what he would do, and then the judge would go over him and examine his bite, and then we would move. Go ahead and get that. Who's a good And the boy? judge would check um, how how um, how correct his movement is because our standard calls for certain things when the dog moves, how it should look, and so the judge would have to to study him and 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 determine if his movement is good. And anyway. I love the term stacking. So, he looked like a statue while he was standing there. Yes, yes. He's been, he's a really, really good show dog. I really enjoy showing him. He's really smart and he thinks he's so funny. And sometimes he tries to be funny in the ring, which isn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen, you know, if people are interested in checking this out, why do you think that they should come watch the show this weekend? Well, actually, if they like dogs, it's a really great place to talk with people that breed different breeds. They might have a breed that they are interested in, and they can talk to people that know all about that particular breed, and it's a good place to start. Um, when I started, I wanted a Doberman, and my parents gave me one for my graduation from high school. and. That's how I got started. It's a really, it's a, a fun thing to do if you like dogs. I love that. So I think that people should come. Yes, yeah, and plenty of time to make it happen. Karen, thank you so much. We appreciate your time Here, this morning. Around. Let's throw the information up sure. on the screen. Again, the Wisconsin Kennel Club Dog Show is happening this weekend at the Alliant Energy Center. Tickets are $5 for adults. Children under 10 are free. We have more details up on channel3000.com. Chris, over to you. Thanks, Josh. Don't forget to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. Isn't that so cool? Uh, <laughs> like goals right there with my dogs. Stacking. Dogs don't listen to me hardly at all. Learned a new term. Like, stacking. <laughs> my dogs are more like laying. <laughs> Slouching. That's usually me too after the show. So. <laughs>